Okay, you guys, so I finished taping off the top all the way across, sealed it and taped thick. And I also taped in the wheel wheel, inside the wheel wheel, I taped right here the bottom part. I taped that all the way across so it has foil tape on that. Hi, everybody, welcome back to Vanessa, my life, my journey. I am here today to continue my installation. I finished the wheel wheel on this side yesterday covering with the fall tape and the uh, fall bubble wrap. Uh, so I finished that side. I covered this side over here which you can't see because it's behind that um, sheet or whatever. And I covered that with the fall bubble wrap, uh, the fall tape. So today I am here to start the insulation on that part right above on this part right here that's in the inner side of those channels I did go and buy some um, some installation so I'm just gonna stuff that uh, I think before I stuff it I'm gonna try to put some foil paper the foil bubble wrap in the inside of there and let's see how this goes. I don't have my other tripod out right now, so let me see. Like, will this work on my small tripod? Which I think it will. If I get all this other junk out the way. If I get all the other junk out the way, oh yeah, that's even better. Because it gets you low. To the ground, you know, they say, How low can you go? How low can you go? How low can you go? So, this is even better on the smaller tripod. So, you guys, let me change the battery and we're gonna get the rocking and rolling, okay? Okay, we bang, we changed the battery, we changed. So let me just get it into the front of my I got a late start yesterday, you guys. And I got another late start today. But not as late as I did yesterday. So the first thing I'm going to do, you guys, is... I'm going to see if I can fit a whole sheet of reflective in here. I know I won't be able to. It's nowhere down there where I can make sure I tape it through. But I'm going to try, y'all. I'm going to try. I don't think my hand will fit in there. But you know what they say. Try, try, and try again. If you don't, 
succeed the first time. So yeah, don't try to take your tape off. Just fold it down. Just try. I'm gonna see how long it is. Okay. And cut this off right about here. Now I'm just gonna try to put this whole reflective in the inside of this wall. I'm gonna fold it towards me. So that way I can try to raise it up with my hand. So I'm going to try to stick this in here, hold like this. And just pull it through the channel and feed it in as far So I'm gonna feed that in that way. Now this other end is go, gonna go in in the other direction. Can you guys see that? So I'm just gonna stick that in through here. Push. I don't think I've seen anybody do this. So this may be the, and actually that's going to stop right there. So I thought I could get it over farther in this corner. Let me show you. I thought I could get it past this point. But actually, this doesn't. If I pull it out, let me see. See, it doesn't go. It lets nothing pass that point. But it would be nice if I could get that. So, what I'm going to do, I can always pull this out, you guys. Uh, matter of fact, I'm just going to take it out. And because it won't let me go past that point, so I'm going to cut that right up to that point, which is about right there. We're gonna go as far as we can. Now see, I raised, I put the reflective thing toward me so I could try to lift this up and make this go up higher. So now, I'm just gonna pull that up. And make that extend up to the top you try to roll it and if you can get it to come through here that would even secure it even better if you have something short that you could push it up so just try to push that up as much as you can so that's what I'm trying to do And it's tight in some areas because that's very snug against the wall. 
So if you have something that you can use to push that up, you guys, you can actually pull it down a little. Pull it down a little because it's doubled right now. So if you undouble it, it will probably scoot up there better. So I'm gonna see if I can find something with a pointed edge that's not gonna puncture that. I got the end of a fork. I don't know if you guys can see me. Let me turn you on. I got the end of a fork. I kind of need something with a longer handle. But I kind of want this to go up. I could get it to go up toward the top. I'm trying to unfold it right now. So it could just be a single strand and it could probably push up there by itself. Because I had it double at first. So now. Fold it where it'll be single and it may just can go up to the top by itself. Okay, so now I have it single all the way across. Yep, it's going up. Now, I see, I can pull this. I'm trying to grab this on both sides. If it'll let me. There. Okay, you guys, so let me show you what I'm talking about. I pulled the insulation all the way through from the bottom to the top. So it continues up this way from the bottom all the way up to the top, the bubble wrap. So I won't be able to fit insulation behind this piece, but at least I have my bubble wrap that is flush to the wall of this piece. And the wall is kind of holding it in place. So now what I'm going to do is just take this and secure this with my reflective tape. And I'm gonna also try to take this and secure this all the way along the bottom and uh, up at the top and on the sides. And then after that, I can stuff my installation in and then I will put another layer of reflective tape over the top of that after I've stuffed my installation in there. So let me find my reflective tape and we will, uh, I'll show you the next process. So I hope you guys can see me and excuse the angle. So this is my reflective tape and I am just going to tear a piece of this. I'm gonna see if I can get a piece behind here. Yeah, I can get a piece behind there. So, I don't know if it's going to stay intact, but
but what I'm gonna do is come alongside this end. I'm gonna start at this end, unpeel my reflective tape, and I'm gonna try to stick that behind that wall. It's not going behind it, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is just take this and I'm gonna pull this. I'm trying to pull this from the other side so that way when I pull it through. it's going behind that piece as well. So I'm just gonna put pressure on that. I'm gonna do that all the way down. That way, this is secured up at the top. And it's gonna keep this reflective from falling down. I'll try to get a piece to go behind there. So I'm gonna end up getting, let me see if I can get that. Nope, it's not going behind. It's not going behind there, so it stopped right there, which is good enough. It's better than nothing. So I'm going to get my water bottle that I was using yesterday to, where is my water bottle? Flatten this out. I'm gonna put my spoon behind here and rub that and make that tape. Try to adhere on that side over there. And you guys, on the underneath side, I can reach this right here and I cleaned behind here already I could reach this right here so this is going to be some pieces of tape as far as I could reach as far as I could reach so I'm gonna stick this in behind here trying not to touch this like I did well. Yeah, I'm just going to let that piece of all stick. It's on there. Once it get on there, you don't want to try to pull it off because then you're going to tear a rip in your reflective. And you defeat the purpose a hole in your reflective so if you have to piece it just piece it piece the tape and get it to overlap to make the bond that you want
so. In some areas, I can get my bottle to fit. So wherever I can get my bottle to fit, I'm gonna use it. Otherwise, just try to try to seal that as much as possible. Now I'm gonna take another piece. I got my old license plate that I had stuck back there. Because I didn't want it to end up. Actually. I didn't want it to end up in somebody's hands. They would be doing something to it with it that they wasn't supposed to be doing. Probably gonna need to buy another roll of the tape soon. So this does take time, you guys. That's why I'm trying to show y'all in real time without editing anything out how time consuming this really is and what is all entailed and involved take your time it's different when somebody tells you to take your time and when you actually see them taking their time so that'll help you get the patience that you need to do this process. It's hot, I'm sweating, but you got to do what you got to do. That's why they call it a DYI. That's why they call it a DYI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my reflective, I'm going to cut another piece of reflective and I'm going to try to stick it under here again. 
And I'm going to see if I can get it to go all the way to the back again. I couldn't get the bottom part to go all the way to the back, but What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do this with a different instead of folding it over. I'm just gonna try to scooch that in there like that. Let's see if I can try to manipulate this in there. And just pull it from the other side. So I'm trying to do this without cutting it so we won't have a break in the material. If we can do it like this, fine. If you can't, it's okay. As you can see, we kind of, as you can see, because I got it in your face. As you can see, we kind of got it in there. So all we're going to do is try to pull it through. I had somebody helping me, they could hold this while I pull it through. It's harder when you're doing everything by yourself, so just be patient, you guys. Don't be hard on yourself because you're by yourself. You're already by yourself, that's enough. I'm trying to keep that off y'all face. So as soon as I get that through, and I get enough of that through, I think I'm going to get a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay, now I can try to take this to the other side, which might not be as easy but if you could get a part of it to go to the other side and you can grab it from over there it will make your whole your life a whole lot easier if you can do that, and you have to determine whether or not it's worth that to you. I mean, that's just, this is just the way I want to do it. So it's, to me, it's kind of worth it, but at the end of the day, I might not be able to do that. So let me just concentrate on this part first. So I'm going to scooch that up. As far as I can. And 
I'm trying to make that go up. If I can make it go, because I got enough, if I can make it go up past that piece, then that will be even better. If you can't, at some point, accept defeat. It's not really defeat, but accept, like, the limitations. Accept as far as you can. I wanted to kind of go all the way up to the top. If I could get it all the way up to the top through one of them holes, I could probably grab it, but it's not. This piece, if I could get this piece to go over there, see everything works together, you guys. If I could get this piece to go over there, then I could get this piece to go up more because it'll be sliding up together. So, I am killing a lot of time doing this, but like I said, it's worth it to me because if I could get a tight fit, oh there, that would be really nice. And it is going through. Take what you can get. Because if I could get it to that point, then I could pull it straight. It's not going through straight right now. But it is going through. So the more I get it to go through, eventually if I could get it to reach this other side, you guys I don't know if you can see me but I'm still trying to push this through as much as possible while it's a whole piece I'm trying to push it through without cutting it Get it to go over to this other side. That would be fantabulous right now. get as much of it to go over as possible. I don't care how it goes over because I could just leave it up in this channel if I want to.
keep the cane. The one chin. See, I told you. Can y'all see that? I told y'all if y'all get it. Let me see if y'all can see that. I told y'all if y'all get it through one piece, you could end up grabbing it through another one. Right here, I came through. So now, I'm just pulling it through. Yay! And it's a whole piece that didn't have to be cut. Hard work pays off, you guys. Even though I think it's a little longer than I need it to be. angled it. Can't really see. So, I think it's going to be easier for me to pull this this way and to cut the excess off. So, that's what I'm going to do. Because it's too long. So what I'm going to do is. Try to get that to go up. And. I'm going to cut. about five or six inches off of there. I can always use that piece for something else. Now I'm gonna try to get this to go up. Because you got everything You want that to go up as far as you can get it because you got a lot of extra baggage so if you could get it to go up that's just gonna oh yeah it's going up all the way to the top y'all so if I could pull that up some more I could end up taping it up there and giving myself more coverage making this more of a vapor barrier. Making it a better vapor barrier. And it's 
taking. The necessary time that you need to take is going to give you a better result. So let me just show you guys this up close so you can see what all the fuss is about. Let me just show you. Okay, let me straighten up my camera angle. So I have one long piece of reflective that is going all the way through this channel from under from the underside. I didn't have to tape it, tape it over the top. From the underside all the way through, all the way through the end, and it's also reaching up here through the top. So if I can get that to go all the way up to the top too. I could even even pull it through the top. I could even tape it through the top. That way I have a one complete whole barrier all the way through, which is amazing. So I'll have a barrier all the way through on the underside and all the way through on the overside. So I'm gonna scoop that just a little. So you can see what I'm talking about. So now what I'm working on is straightening this out where to be flat. So that's what I'm working on right now. And the flatter I make it, the more of it will go up through the top. So I might get it to raise all the way up through the top up there, which would be amazing. And I have it at the bottom already. So once I get the bottom part in, then I can go ahead and put my installation in. Again, I'm getting a late start today, but y'all, we're doing what we do. Rome wasn't built in a day, y'all. So let's get with it. I'm going to come, even though this video is going to be extra, extra, extra long already, I'm going to continue to work to pull that through. And then I will come back. Let me let y'all see just a little bit. Let me see. I'm gonna let y'all see just a little bit more of that. Let me pull it through from a different angle. So I'm just gonna, I'm just pushing it up, you guys. Wherever it'll go up, little by little, as you get it up, little by little, you will get it more flushed. And if I could pull it through more on the other side, then. And push that up more. I got a little bit more room and leeway over here. And the more I can pull it over here, the more snug it makes it. Okay. So. One side helps the other side. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but it is all the way up the top over there. So. And just in case, Just in case I can't get it as flat as I want it. I do see this. 
coming through at the top. If I could pull it a little bit. Which I am able to put it a little bit. That would help it a little bit. Yeah. That'll help it a little bit more. My goal right now is I'm trying to get it as flat as possible. So that way when I tape this bottom part, I won't have any air bubbles. So this part over here seems to be the most stubborn part. worked on this end. You guys can't see anything that I'm doing. This piece over here was the most stubborn piece. And even though I kind of have it flush now, it's not going up, up and away. Like the other pieces did. I can feel it. And I'm trying to pull it up with my finger. The more you can get it to go up, Yes, I ate lentils this morning. Y'all made me eat lentils this morning. So this is flush up against here. This is not as flush as it could be. Let me see if I can manipulate. Yep, back up a little bit. Even if it don't go all the way up at the top, but I can just get it to go under there. It is making a tighter fit underneath. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tight this around the frame. And keep in mind, I have another piece under there. So the farther I could get that to go up, the better. But I'm about to accept that 
is good enough for me. That is good enough for me, y'all. Because I'm about to take this around here. Take this at the bottom. Even though I wish I could get it to go with more. This is good enough for me. So at some point you have to realize that you've done all you can do. Yeah, it would be nice to do more, but when you're done, all you can do, and you can't do no more, let it go, let it go. I'm just making a tight seal. So you know definitely nothing is coming through that. I haven't seen anybody do this, you guys. I haven't seen anybody underside insulate with the reflective Installation and then go over the top. I haven't seen anybody do that. Not to say it hasn't been done. You know, sometimes we're not the first person to do something. We just don't know about the other people who did it. But I watched a lot of Van Life videos been getting a lot of inspiration from a lot of different people that are very, very, very creative. Very handy dandy. And that's why I'm showing you this process because even though I've never seen anybody else do it before, some more people may come behind me and say, hey, that was a good idea. Even if you can't afford to insulate, you guys, I would definitely do this because this is your waterproofing. I would definitely do this until you do. I would do this first. This is like cheap and inexpensive. And we're going to go over this a couple of times. What did I do with my tape? I need an assistant to keep up with everything. So you guys, I'm gonna stop the video because my batteries are running low and I wanna show you the whole process of what I'm doing today. So I'm just gonna finish taping this off all the way across and I'll be back when I start stuffing the installation in the bottom part. When I start stuffing the installation in the bottom part, and I may even put some up here because I was thinking about doing something else, but maybe I'll just put insulation on both pieces. I think I'm probably going to do that because I got the installation already. So 
Let's get busy. Looking good, looking good. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm going to seal this again, but I want to make sure I have enough tape to finish everything. So let me get to the, that side over there. Okay, you guys, so I finished taping off the top all the way across, sealed it and taped thick, and I also taped in the wheel wheel, inside the wheel wheel, I taped right here the bottom part. I taped that all the way across, so it has all tape on that. So now what I'm about to do is grab my installation. Yeah. 